Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, welcome back to the channel. I'm afraid I've got a little bit of a concerning issue to discuss with you guys today. And I want to start this video off by asking you if you've ever heard of, of this old phrase. And I'm sure you have. It's uh, often been attributed to the old Greek philosopher Aristotle. If you can't beat them, then join them. For Ken Griffin, I think it should go something like this. Instead of worrying about whether or not you can beat them, uh, just make them join you. Yeah, by paying them a lot of money. Just hire them. That's what billionaires like Ken Griffin can and will do. As a matter of fact, he's done that uh, very recently. But he's done that a lot in the past. Uh, we've seen many, many, many examples of it. You've seen many videos in which I've talked about this, and we're going to actually review some of that material, but not in today's video. But in today's video, we're going to focus on the most recent instance that uh, I'm, I've been made aware of. If you're scratching your head on this, if you haven't figured out what I'm talking about yet, yes, I am talking about, uh, you know, bribes. That's one of the issues, but specifically today, we're not talking about, uh, well, bribes, uh, if you will. We're going to talk about, well, just hiring people to go and work for you, right? Someone that's in the position of uh, maybe screwing you or could potentially screw you in a way, interfere with uh, your criminal activity, allegedly, right? By the way, guys, this is all for entertainment purposes only, and uh, yeah, I'm not saying any of this is true, right? Uh, just for entertainment. But you get the picture, right? So, in, in theory, okay, if I'm Ken Griffin and I'm a billionaire, okay, which I'm not, but if someone's going against me, someone's snooping around... In my business, someone's trying to, let's say, prosecute me or gather evidence against me in order to prosecute me, uh, then yeah, man, uh, if I'm Ken Griffin, then I'm going to pay them or hire them to come work for me instead and pay them much more than what they were making at the organization that they previously worked for. Let's talk about Avi Perry. Ever heard of him? He's the previous head of the U.S. Justice Department's team that was uh, tasked with prosecuting market manipulation and fraud, <laughs> of all things. Why would Ken Griffin want to hire somebody like that? Uh, I think you and I both know the answer, but let me tell you anyways. So, Avi Perry left the DOJ in order to join a law firm, but not just any old law firm. Let me tell you which law firm he joined. He joined the Washington office of Quinn Emanuel Urquhart and Sullivan LLP. Well, as you might imagine, uh, there's a tie, a correlation between this law firm and also between Ken Griffin, and they just happen to be representing Ken Griffin uh, right now. So let me introduce you first to a term that uh, comes from the DOJ themselves, okay? From the criminal division, uh, you know, the market integrity and uh, major frauds unit. It's called regulatory capture. Regulatory capture is a theory that regulatory agencies may be dominated by the interests they regulate and not by the public interest. Which brings me back to Avi Perry. Avi Perry led the market integrity integrity and major frauds unit of the criminal division of the U.S. Department of Justice for the last two years. He led the prosecution of various spoofing cases. Spoofing is an illegal form of market manipulation. Now, Mr. Perry was recently hired at Quinn Emanuel Urquhart and Sullivan LLP, the law firm, right? He was hired as a partner and co-chair of the Securities Litigation Division. Securities litigation is one of the biggest practice areas at the law firm. And Mr. Perry was picked as a co-chair over the 99 partners listed at the law firm under the securities litigation practice area. Mr. Perry was the only partner with an asterisk next to his name. The asterisk meant that Mr. Perry was not admitted to the District of Columbia Bar, supervision by members of the firm who are members of the District of Columbia Bar. So let's take a look at uh, some of the people that would be working or serving under the leadership of Mr. Perry. You know, the partners that practice securities litigation at the same law firm. There's Christopher Kirch, there's Christopher Michel, there's Jesse Bernstein, there's William Burt. Those names are all listed attorneys in the case of uh, Northwest Biotherapeutics Incorporated or a ticker symbol NWBO. You might recall a case 
NWO versus Citadel. But NWO sued seven market makers for deliberately engaging in spoofing of the NWBO stock exactly 2,849 times over an approximate five-year period. The federal prosecutor that was supposed to stop this sort of behavior is now on the defensive side, right? On the defense place for Ken Griffin's uh, ball team. It's also extremely likely that this person also received a huge pay bump for uh, switching sides and playing for Ken Griffin. Is this an example of regulatory capture? Was Mr. Perry aiming for a well-paying partnership at a top law firm and avoiding prosecuting some of the largest perpetrators of spoofing so as to protect his own future job prospects? There is no overtly illegal behavior here. I'm sure a large firm like Quinn Emanuel has an appropriate structure in place where Mr. Perry keeps his nose out of cases where he has investigated or maybe even prosecuted a client of the law firm. Yet the optics are bad. Very bad. Our system needs a rework when or if the goal of someone employed by the government to regulate a certain portion of the economy has a long-term goal of working for these same people he or she is entrusted to regulate. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? You heard it. It's crazy, I think. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Also, make sure you smash that thumbs up button before you go because it would mean the world to me. And uh, by the way, if you're new here, if this is your first time visiting, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you're back very soon, like tomorrow, maybe even tonight, because I'm going to be dropping content just like this. See you guys in the next video.